It's been a long time since I filmed that sunset, so I apologize if it does come through, but man, I miss summer. I love summer. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our Minecraft series. I I already started getting things sorted and uh, fixed up while I was off camera, so I, I smelted all the iron. As you can see, I already got an iron full uh, suit there, and I sorted everything. So I got miscellaneous, got cobblestone, and I got dirt in my bed. I got lighting. And now all I need to do is I also got a carpet. All I need to do is break this thing, start, and uh, I'm going to actually wait till night time. No. I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to put it up in the center here. Just so I can make a little bit of lighting around my house. And then I'm going to start lighting the entire area around my house. Just like everywhere. Um, I need to know exactly where to put it. So I'm going to wait till night to make it more specific. But if I can get it so that mobs won't spawn super nearby, that would be, you know, fantastic. Uh, because that's the last thing I want is a mob spawning right next to me. Uh, wow, that egg went really far. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to go that far. Um, might as well put down one here. I'll patch that up eventually. Um, need more cobblestone because I need enough to put those three slots left. And I also need more just for my inventory, for sakes of, you know, keeping all that stuff. I also need more dirt, so we're just going to go on a little um, spree of getting a little bit of miscellaneous re like resources. Um, I can go back caving eventually. I'm just going to wait for right now. I want to get a little bit more stuff before I do that. I'm going to move all the... Um, Eventually, I'm going to move all the uh, specialties, I call them, the iron, the gold, and the future diamonds and future emeralds. I'm going to move all those over into a certain chest, but at this rate, um, I'm keeping them in that miscellaneous chest. But I will put it probably above... No, if I put it above the cobblestone, that would be weird. So I'm going to put above the cobblestone, I'm going to put wood. And then I'll put above the dirt is actually my miscellaneous miscellaneous. And then the miscellaneous for right now will be that specialties chest. And then the specialties chest uh, above that, I'll probably have um, food or something like that. But anyway, I don't need to tell you all that because it'll just be happening in the background while I'm telling my stories. Because I always like to tell stories on Minecraft. Um, this kind of bothers me actually. Uh, what I find the weirdest uh, thing yeah, about sorry. Minecraft is the amount of, um, I don't know. When I, when I play this game, no ideas go through my head. But before I play the game, all the ideas come to me. It's so weird. But anyway, I have a, I have a story for y'all. <laughs> I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'm saying that so weirdly. Um, I do need a bucket of water. That's one thing I also need. Why is the like the superpower of flying super popular? Why is that? Why is that a thing? Like, out of all things, wouldn't you want like invisibility, invincibility, and maybe I don't know, time travel, or control of space and time, or I I don't know. You would want something more special than just flying. Isn't flying just like kind of boring? Because I find it very boring. Maybe I'm just weird. I mean, I think we all know that at this point. It was at this moment that he knew. Okay, let's go get some more wood. Okay, I don't know where that sound came from, but all right. <laughs> There we go, we got a bucket of water, I can feel safe. I was playing Skyrim the other day, and uh, it's so weird I'm talking about other games while I'm playing Minecraft. This is one of those games that just like, what would you talk about in Minecraft, like what you're gonna do? Um, and then I've already gotten that done, obviously. But when I was playing <laughs> Skyrim, I, I, man, Skyrim is such an interesting game, and it, it always, uh, it never stops being fun. Like, you, you can spend literally hours in that game. And, uh, it's just, it never, never ends to be fun. But, 
I have so much coal right now, I don't need to worry about getting birch. Uh, if you guys don't know what I use birch for, I use birch strictly for charcoal. Because I never build birch. I just hate the look of it. And I hate how pale it looks. So I use it for strictly charcoal. But um, I don't think I need that right now. I'll just grab it because it will just not make the leaves degenerate. So um, might as well grab it right now so I can get some more saplings. But uh, yeah, the, the, the charcoal thing, that was just because I never usually get um, coal that early. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I went down. I mean, I'm glad it did, but... I could have just gotten charcoal earlier, and then I wouldn't have. Then I would have torches when I actually went in the cave the first place. So that was really unsafe for me to do that, but that's completely fine. Okay, I need to put. Let me just take like half, and then let's put. Um, take this hoe, put it in there. Boom, and then take this coal, fuel that. Okay. Then, um, what else? Put that sapling there. Alright, so now it's nighttime almost. Now we can check the torches. I think these are gonna be a little bit more torches than I thought, actually. I just really wanna be safe. I, I know that, uh, probably don't need to light up this whole area as much as I am. But I feel like I should just be extra sure and, you know, that whole, that whole thing. Okay, I think this is good for now. I really like lighting up the area around my house. I don't know why. It just makes it so much more pleasing to look at um, when you don't, like... Like, when you come home and you see all the torches and all the light, it's so much more, like, pleasing to know that you are safe and, you know, there, there, there's there's nothing to worry about. And it's a, it's a really good way of finding your house at night um, or in general because just the light is a very good um, marker. Speaking of which, I do need to make a beacon of sorts. So let me do that. When I do get my PC, I still don't have my PC. It's coming up soon, but when I do, I don't know why I did that. Sorry, I don't want to give you a seizure or nothing. <laughs> um, there's nothing to cook. What am I thinking? Okay. All right, we need to return to that cave. I forgot what I was going to talk about, so I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go back to that cave. That's what I need to do right now. Here we go. Took me a while to find it for whatever reason. I don't know why. All right. So this section. Now we can do this. Come on. We can do this. You're nothing to me. You're nothing. You hear that? You're a pointless little skeleton. You can't touch me at all. You know that? I hope you do. I only got one heart down, and I'm not going to worry about it. What I do need to worry about is this actual cave system and the mobs that surround it. Okay, keep going, dead end, fantastic, okay, so there's nothing down here really, other than coal, that's good to know, um, and I can always take some coal, I don't know why people hate coal about, um, it's really just, it's a good ore, it, it, it's easy to get good XP from it, um, I mean, if you're in a nether, yeah, you can get the XP from the nether quartz, and that's the best source of the XP, other than a spawner, I would say, but even that's, like, I mean, spawner is really easy to get XP for a while, but, um, I think the nether, uh, quartz is probably the best source of EXP, um, but it is the most dangerous, because you are in the nether. If you were in peaceful, then it'd be a lot easier, um, and that's what I did in the realm, because we, we run it on peaceful sometimes, because he doesn't like, uh, difficulty, but... If, if it was on hard or anything like that, I would definitely not use uh, Nether Quartz as my main source of EXP. But because it's on Peaceful, it's just it's a lot easier that way. Okay, what was what is with this? Why is it... 
That is so weird, but all right. <laughs> I just didn't want any water in here. So that's very tedious, but hey, I'll take it. So now that I have crap, okay, that's great. Plop that down. Why do I keep on crafting because I don't actually want? Hey, for Pete's sake. So now that I have a water bucket and I have an iron pickaxe, I think my next goal is since I have so much, so much iron already, I think my next goal is to actually go for diamonds. I'm not even lying. This early in the game, I think I can do it. I really do. Let me get some more sticks in here. And then let's get more torches in here too. I need all the torches and I can possibly get. I can use a lot of more wood, that's for sure. Um, then I'll be my, probably my priority at the moment. Let me light up this area so I can find it uh, again when I need to. But... It's not that far away from their house. Uh, I just think that that cave system will be a lot easier than trying to mine myself down to 12 manually. Because, I mean, the cave system already does it for me a little bit. Um, I mean, I got down to like 30, I think. So, it'd be a lot easier that way. Because only a couple more blocks. So, I guess I'll do that instead. Um, I just really don't like having that much food on me. I have six steak, but that's, that's perfectly fine. It's just not, not ideal for me. Personally, take. I'm gonna take out the. Uh, that's. Shouldn't have just burned the shovel. Okay. Uh, I want to get some string so I can repair the bow, and I can start using the bow. My hunger goes down so fast in the um, normal. It's it's not even funny, dude. I didn't realize how fast it goes down. Okay, I think I think we're fine right now. Um, at this period of stage. Um, usual Minecraft, I would be still looking for, like, iron ore. I would not be in a full set of iron, uh, armor right now, but... Hey, I will take it, because I got super lucky. I am very grateful for it. Sorry, I got another axe. I'm fine. I just gotta get more wood. That's literally all I gotta do right now. But yeah, personally, I don't know why superpowers are, like, I don't know, super popular or anything like that. Like, Marvel and DC, yeah, I get it. But I don't, I, like, from studying, like, film, I never understood why they're not actually that great and, like, groundbreaking for film history. Um, other than, like, it's, yeah, it's entertaining. Like, I don't, I don't disagree with that. It's very entertaining. But people find it a lot more entertaining than actually, like, I don't know. They, they find it more groundbreaking, I should say, than, uh, than it actually is, because, I don't know, have, have you seen the groundbreaking films that are actually groundbreaking, not just, you know, Batman versus Superman, yay, <laughs> you know what I mean, but, um, I don't know, I'm really surprised I already got this much EXP, uh, it doesn't really matter to me right now, because I'm not going to be enchanting anytime soon, unless I get obsidian and a diamond. I really want to get that, uh, early game. Because the more early that I get these good things, the more likely I'm going to come back, uh, and play more of it on solo. But, you know. So. I really want to play the Java edition of Minecraft so badly. It seems like it's such a great... I already have, like, 100 hours on Java. Um, let's not even talk about how many hours I have on the 360 version. On this version, I have 293, I think. That was as of yesterday. Um, so that's changed. Uh, <laughs> so I really think... I think if I took the 360 one, probably 600 hours. I, I, I highly... I, I don't know. I, I, I think I have at least a thousand hours in Minecraft. It's ridiculous. I, I took it very seriously when I was in middle school. Um, or I didn't take it seriously necessarily, but I just had a lot of fun with it. That's all. Like, it was, like that was mostly of my middle school, was just playing Minecraft with my neighbor. And playing Call of Duty and Halo here and there, but it was mainly Minecraft. And that was it. Um, once I got into high school, though, that changed a whole lot. I got my Xbox One. And then, then I really, uh, 
I really took the 360 more uh, seriously in his clearance, and I expanded more on uh, my gaming ideas and uh, try to play everything that was on clearance, and that really uh, maybe opened the doors for other games. And so, after that, because it was at GameStop, and I was just like, I would go there every Friday after school, and just, um, not in, not in ninth grade, because ninth grade I was too far away from GameStop, but, uh, my middle school, um, I did that, like, right around the, before the year was over, uh, in the summer. I did that a lot, where I would just, I would just buy the games on 360 on clearance, and play them, and then return them right back, <laughs> and get my money back, and, uh, just explore the games and have a lot of time, like, just having fun with them. And, uh, that's how I really started gaming and taking it seriously on the 360. But before that, I was just mostly just doing the Wii and the DS. And I was very passionate about Pokemon. That was, like, the game. I, I still am very passionate about Pokemon. I don't play it as much as I do now, because it's not on a console anymore, and I kind of don't like portable anymore. Um, but I mean, once the Short and Shield come out, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be playing that all the time. But it still isn't as good as the, uh, the old ones, man. I, I, I just gotta, when I get my PC, I'm for sure gonna do some emulation and play, uh, some of the older Pokemon games, because I just have to. They're all pretty much the same, um, but I probably will do, uh, Soul Silver or something like that on the emulation, because that's my favorite game of all time in Pokemon, is Soul Silver. So I really want to do that. Um, maybe Pokemon Yellow or maybe Pokemon Red. My first Pokemon game was that Pokemon Diamond, and then I played Pokemon Fire Red, and then I played Soul Silver. I think. I think in that order. Uh, there might be something in between Soul Silver and that, but I, if I recall correctly, it was Soul Silver after that, and then after Soul Silver, um, Black and White came out. I think. I'm not positive. But I, I did play Black and White 1, and then, did I play 2? I think I did, just not the whole thing. I don't think I beat, um, I know I beat Diamond. I know I beat Soul Silver. don't think I beat Fire Red. I don't think I beat any other ones. But, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I played Pokemon Emeralds very recently. That was like last year. Um, I did that. I got plenty of wood now, so nothing to worry about that. So let me cook this, and... But yeah, it's my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I'm going to continue the Pokemon. Uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time is uh, Mewtwo. That has never changed, and never will. Uh, he's always been my favorite, and... Um, ever since I saw him in Soul Silver, he's my favorite, man. Soul Silver was the one I took the most seriously and played the longest. Um, so you'll hear me reference Soul Silver the most. Um, I mean, Fire Red every now and then, but mostly Soul Silver. Um, just because, I don't know. I appreciate all of them, but, uh, I don't know. Soul Silver just made, made it for me. It really did. So, I'm gonna make this one actually the opposite of what I, what I said. Um, so yeah. Then I do need a wood one. So let me take this. My favorite thing, believe it or not, as a kid was uh, when I played Pokemon uh, or Pokemon. I, I, I find it funny when people say either way. I really don't care if you say it right or wrong. I mean, it's supposed to be Pokemon, but I say Pokemon or Pokemon all the time. I say either one, really. But uh, I used to get the. Um, action replays I still have them some of them are broken some of them are still working and uh, I still use them but man those were so good <laughs> they were so funny because you could constantly cheat and uh, I don't know do certain things like you can customize what you want to do obviously you don't have to cheat on everything um, but I I would do like a playthrough of soul silver where I would just literally have 99 of everything and uh so I used Master Balls, I caught Red's Pokemon, I, I, it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm thinking about it a lot right now. It's like, it's so interesting that I'm thinking about it when I'm playing Minecraft of all games. It's like, why would I, <laughs> like, what's so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's so interesting about this, uh, to make me 
go and do that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let me get some signs. There we go. So now I have wood, which is in here. And I have this one, so it's just miscellaneous. And then metals and gems, because obviously, you know, um, diamonds or emeralds are not metals. Obviously, we all know that. I mean, maybe, maybe I don't. <laughs> but I, I really hope that most of us know that. What I really want to do uh, in the future of Minecraft, I mean, this world will be, you know, temporary until I get Java. But what I really want to do is I can, I want to test my ability to, uh, the mod and see if I can make my own personal mods and just kind of like do a Minecraft series of my own. Um, and, and mod out the heck out of Minecraft and everything I want or wanted in Minecraft, I'll just put in uh, myself. And it'd be really interesting, right? Because like, I don't know. I, I just wanted to see how that would how that would do. Because obviously, if I don't make those mods public, um, then that would be my only that would be the only source of uh, the way of seeing them, those mods. Obviously, I would want to make them public if I got enough attention or whatnot. Uh, maybe, possibly, but I highly doubt it. Um, like only like uh, a small amount of people would be able to get to the mods but I, I i think i would just make it public and everybody would just be able to download it whatever but um i don't know maybe i maybe i'll make it private but we'll see we'll see how things go maybe i won't even be able to mod because you know there's there's the possibility of that because <laughs> i don't even i don't know much coding at the time being so that is the first necessity is I need to learn how to code before I even worry about, you know, modding. Obviously, I can use engines to make it easier, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So I have to start from scratch and uh, obviously take some classes or whatever. But that'd be a really interesting way of getting into the modding community. And I could possibly, I don't know, I could, I could find a job in it, possibly, but I doubt it. But, uh, I, I'm, that's what I want to do, whether I actually get around to doing it is completely different, because, you know, it only depends on how much I really want to do it, but, uh, I can see myself doing it if I really devote the time and effort to it, it's just, I don't know. Like, right now, if you're wondering what I'm thinking about adding or removing from Minecraft, I would definitely add back the Notch Apple. Um, not the name, but the, uh, the Enchanted Apple Recipe. I would bring back, um, what were the other things? Like, they, they removed some other things, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that was, like, the first priority for sure for me, because I just, I really like Notch Apple or the Enchanted Apple. Um... And the fact that it took out the recipe just really bothers me. But I would also want to add more mobs and more behaviors. Um, like different reasons for uh, why you would do certain things or have certain mods um, or mobs in the world. Because uh, like right now, there wouldn't be really a reason for why you would want monkeys. Unless you actually like went out of your way to... Uh, Make it so you can get different resources and expand off of that idea, basically. Make it so that, like, if you have monkeys, you can have these. You have, like, monkey tails or something. And if you have a monkey tail, you can craft that into, like, a... I don't know. Like a whip or something. And if you craft that uh, into a whip, you can use the whip to uh, go from trees to trees. I don't know. Whatever it may be. But those are just kind of the ideas that go through my mind when I think about it, so... Like, for example, I would definitely change the way the wandering traders would work, because right now their trades suck so badly. Um, so I would definitely change that right off the bat, uh, along with the Notch Apple. But as you can tell, obviously I would make some of them, like, separate, but I would just make the whole thing like a pack. So, like, if you didn't want certain things uh, or certain mods, you didn't have to have them, because, of course, you know... Some ideas are great, and some ideas aren't, and, uh, if they're my ideas, I'll think they're great. <laughs> so, you know, 
there's going to be people that don't agree, and so that's perfectly fine. Anyway, guys, I think this is about it. I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to possibly that new series. Uh, right now, this is just my new house, and I think I think we're doing good. I think we got a lot of charcoal. We got a lot of fuel, for sure. And I think we got a good source of uh, iron so far. We just need to find another cave system, or expand on that cave system, and uh, like go find diamonds.